I've had to work for every little thing when other kids, you know, didn't have to do that. And I feel like going to college is not going to solve that because I'm pretty sure like most people in my family went to college. And as I said, we didn't have these crazy living standards where I'm getting a brand new car. Brand new car at 16. I'm not getting that. I'm getting, well, I got the Ultima. Oh my God. I wish I forgot about my Ultima. I guess it's going to turn into a story time. Story time with Ty. So I, I had a car um, way back when. And how can I put this? It wasn't, it wasn't really, it wasn't ready to drive. I believe that my dad got it from a scrapyard or from like the country where we had the old cars that didn't work. In any case, my dad was a mechanic or, a, yeah, I believe he's a mechanic. Uh, I don't know. You know how black guys, you know how black dads are. They just know how to work on shit. I don't know. My dad was real country. You know, he really had me out there at four or five a.m. just to hunt deers. I'm not trying to hunt deers. We're all live in the city, but nevertheless um you know my dad you know was a mechanic per se and you know he fixed on this car and i say fix on it very lightly jerry will attest to this <laughs> when i got in the car there were literally at least 50 to like 70 bolts big ass bolts not like little little fucking screw screws no bolts the shit that go in the engine they're like 50 or i don't even know how many like the whole what is the fuck? I haven't had a car. My car got towed and took away. So I had another car after that that I bought myself. I made a video on it. Go watch it. There were at least, you know, 50 big ass boats in the, in the, in the thing, in the car, in the middle of the car thing. I don't know what it's called. So right off the bat, I'm just looking at this like, this is my first car? What? What is, huh? Because what happened was, you know, when I, my family told me, okay, Ty, we're going to get you a car. I started looking up, oh, first car is 16 on YouTube. And of course, all the brand new 20, well, at this point, it's like 2016. All the brand new 2016 Honda, 2016 this, 2016, brand new, blah, blah, blah. Because all the fucking big YouTubers are posting brand new cars. And me being a dumbass 16 year old, I thought, oh shit, that's what I'm going to get. <sighs> the way the window works in a car is it's like, a, it's on these little hooks that go up and down. And the only reason I know this, and I saw this on TikTok, and this reminded me of my Ultima. The only reason I know this is because my door panel to my brand new car at 16 came off. It could easily just fall off. It was only put together by, I think, three little screws. And those screws just popped off randomly. So whenever I open my door and try to close it, sometimes I will just rip the whole thing off. And, you know, that's literally, that traumatized me um, for life. Because I remember I had to drive it to school one time. I'm, the first time I drove to school... That day I get there, everybody's like, oh shit, so I got a brand new car. Lila, so I got a brand new car. Because I'm, I'm on a football team. So, of course, everybody has to be nosy. But when I try to turn my car back on, because I'm leaving school, it literally does not crank up. And keep in mind, as I said before, everybody's like, oh shit, so I got a brand new car. We got to go see it. So, literally, like half the school is around me. My door panel can easily just fall off at any point. I get in the car. <laughs> I try to turn it on. Nothing happens. It literally, I think it makes a... No, I said, yo, you're killing me. What the fuck? Why me? Why me? And everybody's literally just laughing at me, clowning on me. And I'm there for like three hours. And bro, people are literally just sitting there for two, three hours after school. We left school. Why are we in the parking lot looking at my car? Go home. And bro, the whole school is just laughing at me. And I'm just sitting there like, I'm literally just traumatized for life. Girls, boys, they're all just looking at me. As I'm in the car trying to crank my car up, um, people are coming up to the window to like, yo, try to talk to me. Like, yo, Ty, let me help you out. <sighs> My window doesn't work. Not only does the door panel just randomly fall off, when it does fall off, you will see the only thing holding up my window is not the little hooks I talked about earlier. Um, no. It is two big ass planks of wood. Yes. My dad went to, I don't know where the fuck he went, to go f fucking fence post or something. I don't even know. And put that in the door in the door frame to keep the window up. Yo, what? Huh? Are you fucking joking me? I have wood in my window. Wood in my window to keep my window up. Of course, me going to an all-black high school, people started getting, you know, rough. You know, pulling on the door. And, oh, like, come on, Ty. You know, doing all that thing. I'm just in the, I'm just over it. You know, at this point, I know I'm, I'm fucked. You know, people gonna laugh at me. It's whatever. I'm accepting my fate. I just lean back. I'm done. All of a sudden, I heard a... They yanked my door open so hard that it almost came off all the hinges. And I don't know. The door itself could probably fall off at this point. But <laughs> when they did that, the whole door panel fell off. I don't even remember 
what I felt. I know it, it, it had to have been fear I, because it was not anger. I didn't get angry at anybody. I was scared for my life, scared that I was never going to be able to live this moment up ever again. I don't know how many of you guys seen the inside of a door, but it is not a pretty sight. It's not aesthetically pleasing. So when my door panel came off and you just see two planks of wood and a bunch of like wires and shit just hanging there. <laughs> and there's nothing connected to the wire. So people are just like, Ty, your window don't even work. It is not a good experience for your entire school to see it at the same time. This is probably why I have so much like built up trauma now. Like I let it a lot, I let a lot of my childhood trauma go. I made a whole video on that too. Um, childhood trauma, like, yo, you gotta get over your stuff. But this is probably why I had so much pent up anger because of stuff like that. Bro, I get my first car and you know, I'm still grateful for it because I, I'm just a very humble person. Yes, it was a piece of shit, but it was still a car. It drove, it got me here or there, barely, but it got me there, you know? So like, I'm still grateful. Like, I'm not even gonna like say I regret having that car because it built me character. Yo, if anybody's going through a tough situation, never be upset because you always gonna get, you, you if, as long as you work, eventually you will be able to look back and just laugh at, you know, your bad situation. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you are day one, you would. I was original, well, not originally, I was once homeless. And, you know, I look back now, and at the time, that was the worst shit I've ever gone through in my life. You know, no food, no privacy, no anything. But now I look back to, like, almost two years later, and I just look at it like it happened so fast, you know? At the time, it felt like my world was ending, I had nowhere to go. But now it's like, you know, so far away. It's like a dream. It doesn't, it didn't, it doesn't really even exist anymore to me. And that's what happens, you know, you move on, you know. So I look back at my car. Yes, I was mad at the time, but it built me character. It was funny memories. Now I get to talk about it on the channel. I always try to turn a negative into a positive. So like, yeah, there was a shitty car, but hey, we're making a video. I'm going to go. It's late night. Love you guys so much. Um, bye. Why did I just wink to the camera? That, I'm editing that out. Holy shit. Dogs are upset. What did I do to deserve this? What did we do? I just prayed. I just prayed. Why you, why you praying? I was praying for like a better, I was praying for forgiveness. I don't know, maybe I messed up. And literally the day I pray, this happens to us. My camera's upstairs. Every time when it counts. I could have been the shower. The, who left the shower on? No. Maybe the, that might save our apartment. He <laughs> said turn the shower on. So they, 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 they suit up. It's, it's serious. <laughs> he said turn the shower on. They suit the fuck up. We're done. Yeah, our, our apartment's done. I ain't like I'm too. high. I can't even know what's going on. I'm too high to like really think of the consequences. We're suiting up. Look at him. I got you. They're suiting up, bro. Yeah, they be suited up. Let's go, 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 go get our stuff. They're suiting up. Yeah. I don't know who's the culprit. They said the break room? I, I... We'll see you next time. We will see. Oh.